The Sims 4 just released their new pack style, kits. I've got my hand on all three new kits, and today we're gonna see what they're all about. Hi friends, my name is Shay, and if you're new to my channel, well, don't worry, so am I. I've been playing The Sims since it came out and would love to share my experiences playing with you, so be on the lookout for new videos every week. Today I was on Instagram and I stumbled on the new Sims Kits release video. This is a brand new pack style for The Sims, and from what I can see, it's kind of like a mini stuff pack. I think this is a really cool concept because there's often a long time in between releasing expansion packs and game packs. Kits seem like a cool way to bridge the gap in between those packs, giving us some cool features, new gameplay, new content, in a really fresh and affordable way. These kits are only $5 each, and I personally hope this is something that The Sims continue to release in the future. So there are three new kits packs that you can choose from or get all three like I have. First new kit that we're gonna look at is The Sims 4 Country Kitchen Kit. Transform your Sims kitchen into the most charming part of the home with the Sims 4 Country Kitchen Kit. From vintage refrigerators to casserole dishes, these build-by objects offer a delightfully trendy take on a timeless style. I'll be honest, like country kitchen isn't really my style. I definitely tend to build way more modern, but I am dying for new kitchen items in The Sims. Like we really do not get a lot of kitchen items released with the new expansion packs and game packs. Sometimes we'll get counters, sometimes we won't. Five bucks, you can get an entirely new kitchen that you've never used before. So I'm really excited about that. Next up, we've got the Sims 4 Bust the Dust Kit. Oh my God, this looks so fun. Dust off the vacuum and tidy up in the Sims 4 Bust the Dust Kit. Dust is piling up and spawning friendly bunnies and dastardly filth fiends in Sims homes. Get rid of the muck by cleaning or settle in for a messy life. Conquer chores with new buffs and rewards for each dust level, vacuums to help fight the good fight, and aspirations related to cleanliness. The last kit is called the Sims 4 Throwback Fit Kit. You guys, I am getting major like Suzanne Summers vibes just looking at the whole throwback fit kit. So I'm gonna need just a second here. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. I figured that this was more appropriate attire for the throwback fit kit. This is not a look that I thought I'd be sporting on the internet today, but you know what? Go big or go home. All right, The Sims 4 Throwback Fit Kit. Outfit your Sims in retro-inspired athleisure looks with the Sims 4 Throwback Fit Kit. Take it back to nostalgic colors, bold patterns, and trend-forward silhouettes with these all-new Create-A-Sim items. Updated everyday classics and workout wear elevate this unique collection and your Sims fashion. I did not think that I'd be as excited about this pack. I think any excuse to wear scrunchie I get really excited about, so maybe that's it. So let's load up a new game. All right, so first off, we are gonna take a look at the throwback fit kit. So here we are in Create a Sim, and we're gonna look at all of the new items. Let's randomize a Sim here. Okay, you look cool. So there's actually a whole new category here in Create a Sim. When you scroll down to the packs, you see your expansion packs, your game packs, your stuff packs, and then all the way at the bottom, right above free stuff is kits. I'm really excited to see how this expands over time. Anything to increase gameplay. I just love this idea. Okay, so let's first look at the full body outfits. Okay, so this is the first one. I like this. I like how it's like kind of a sweatshirt, kind of maybe you can wear leggings with it. Maybe you don't have to. Maybe there's like shorts or something underneath it. A bunch of new colorways. Okay, I like how there's like some black and white and gray and neutral ones. So even if you don't want your sim to be like bright and poppy colors, there's still some other ones in here for you. Okay, so this outfit, I love the whole like tank top over the t-shirt looks. This is so 90s. I'm so nostalgic right now. Oh my gosh. This doesn't even seem like workout wear. Oh my God. Does she not look like she's in the movie Clueless right now? Okay, so we have a polo dress here. This is giving me Tommy Hilfiger vibes. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Some other fun colorways. This one looks like a flight attendant's outfit. I really like that all of these so far have had funky colors, but also neutral color swatches as well. So you can really use them in a lot of different cases. That's pretty nice. Okay, so for tops and bottoms, so we have this cute little tank top. Well, there's like ribbed details on there as well. I love the pink. All right, next we have, ooh, puppy sleeve crop top with a pocket in the front. This is fun. Okay, so it doesn't look like any patterns here, just solid colors. We oh, Okay, so this one seems to like perfectly match these shorts. I mean, they all kind of work, but I really like this top. Lots of fun colors. Oh, I love this jacket. <gasps> this is giving me total Saved by the Bell vibes. Oh my God. Even the top underneath it is cute but like the popped collar, oh my gosh. Okay, so these are the shorts that she's wearing now. Let's see some other colors. I really like how these are high-waisted. Oh, these are fun. These are a little bit wider in the leg, a little bit more casual. I can definitely see this for hot days, having many, many, many of my Sims 
wear these shorts. They even kind of look like they'd be cute for like pajamas. Oh, good job, Sims. This is fun. Okay, then we have a skirt. All right, something a little different. Oh, it's even a little zipper detail in the back there. I like this. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna use this skirt, but I can definitely see a lot of people being into it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have joggers, people. They did a great job with the details on these. I love this so far. Oh, and here we go, classic cheerleader skirts. Yeah, all of this is gonna go really, really well with all of the tops, all of the bottoms. And I can also see these pieces fitting very well into your game, no matter what packs you have. I can see a lot of these tops and bottoms being very versatile. Okay, so we have one new pair of shoes for women. These are fun. These look like, I don't know, like Air Jordans or something. So some more neutrals and stuff as well. Again, just very, very smart Sims, because now, even if you don't like this style, per se, there's still neutral options that I think are gonna go really well with other items in the game. Okay, and then we have some styled looks as well. This, oh, see, that's pretty much the same outfit I just had on my Sim. Okay, some different colors. Yas, honey, work it. I'm too old to say stuff like that. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, this is the next styled look. Oh, I forgot about the bucket hat. Okay, so we can see the bucket hat here. I oh, And high socks. Did we have those already? I think we had those already, but that so perfectly encompasses what people were wearing in the 90s. Yeah, so these socks were just already in the game. I just never really used those before. <laughs> yes, this hat. Oh my God. Oh, I had this hat when I was a kid. Okay, no new hair or anything like that. I can't believe that this is something that people are wearing nowadays. Like, it's just so funny how style comes back around. Okay, so we have some classic colors, some sunflowers. Oh my gosh. This one, again, very much Saved by the Bell with those like funky patterns and everything. I do really appreciate the neutrals. I can definitely see using the neutrals more than anything else in the game. But again, that's what's actually really nice about this pack so far is they've done a great job of kind of bridging that gap between fun and funky and then like practical things that you're probably gonna use time and time again. Okay, so we have two new tops for the guys. Oh my God, is this a fanny pack? I'm so excited. Yes, yes, we have a fanny pack. I don't know, I've always been team fanny pack. Maybe that's just me. I think it's super fun, especially the crossbody style that people are wearing it now lately. Super cool, lots of fun colors. I like how we have a lot of bright colors for the men as well. I'm glad that's not just for the women. And then again, some neutrals for the guys as well. All right, and then the men also have a jacket. I love the zipper detail. I like that it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom just for something different. I like how a lot of these colors match the women's gear as well. So if you wanted to have like a couple working out together, this would be really good for that as well. Okay, so only one new pair of bottoms for the guys. Looks like a pair of joggers. Again, these are gonna go with both of the tops for the guys. Okay, so then the same, pretty much the same pair of shoes that we had for the women, we have for the men as well. All right, we can use the bucket hat on our gentlemen as well. I think these are gonna be, yep, same exact colors, same hat. All right, so we have two styled looks for the guys as well. Very fun. <laughs> okay, so for kids, we have a lovely little windbreaker here. I 100% had this windbreaker when I was a child. Lots of different colorways. Again, all the colors go together with all the items that they brought out. And then we have a pair of joggers that match. Oh my gosh, we can have matching tracksuits. They are so spot on. Like I wore this when I was a kid. We had like a full windbreaker tracksuit. I don't know why this was a thing in the 90s, but... I'm kind of loving it in game. And then we have a styled look right on track. Okay, and then the kids have the same shoes as well. So I created a new family. We're gonna put them into a new house soon, but first I wanna show you guys the new aspiration, starting with Perfectly Pristine. This sim likes their home to be presentable and clean at all time. Taking pride in their pristine homes, these sims shoot for perfection and thrive when they have a spotless house to show off to guests. Then we have the exact opposite with fabulously filthy. This sim revels in filthy, messy homes and avoids cleaning at all costs. Procrastinate, dodges chores, lowers your standards, and find creative ways to thrive in the filthiest of environments. So here I gave the dad the slob trait and I am going to give him the fabulously filthy aspiration. Meanwhile, his wife has the neat trait and she is going to be given the perfectly pristine aspiration. So this is gonna be really interesting to see how this works out. All oh, right, so we moved our Sims into their new house, but you know what? Even though this is a very active and fun family, they're actually a little bit country at heart. So even though they bought this new house, they have put it into their budget to make a fabulous new country kitchen. So let's take a look at that first. We're gonna build our own country kitchen so that we can see all of the new items. Okay, so there is one new wallpaper and that is stones and stacks. 
this is so funny. I do not consider this country, this whole like stone wall thing. It's very maybe like Italian country, but as far as like USA kind of country vibes go, I don't really see that. Um, maybe on the outside of a house. I could actually definitely see using this on the exterior of a house one day, so I don't hate it. We have one new floor, again, puzzled stone floor. Let's just get a beautiful looking kitchen in here. Okay, so we have the stove. Um, the description is hilarious. So if you do get this pack, definitely make sure to read the descriptions for all of these items. So what's cool with the stove is that it's actually functional off grid, a bunch of different colors. Okay, I love, again, I love that we have neutrals and funky colors. We also have a new fridge, which is also functional off grid. <gasps> yes. Okay, this is like the countertop of my dreams because I love these little baskets. I guess they're like drawers, but they kind of look like baskets. Butcher block countertop, love. We don't have anything like this right now. Okay, we have a matching kitchen island as well. Again, I'm not super into the whole like country look personally, but I can get behind these items. So on some of these, there are different wood tones as well. It kind of looks like some of them are like a whitewashed butcher block. That's kind of cool. So a little variety. I actually really like all of the swatches here. I'm going to go with this purple because I've never done a purple kitchen before. So let's do it. I really like the back of these as well. Again, it's just all about that detail work. So we have one new sink as well. This is actually an all-in-one piece. It's the counter and the sink all together. And we have a new upper as well. This one has like a little bread box on it. The short one is actually just for dishes. Like a little plate showing. Oh, that's cute. And I love that there's little objects in there. I wonder if we can put more stuff in there. Okay, so it does not seem like we can put new items inside of these upper cabinets, um, but I do appreciate that they at least put something in there to begin with. I'm gonna use these new bar stools that we just got in the update and see if any of these swatches kind of match the kitchen. Okay, so we got a lot of nice new decorative items. Looks like we have some kind of a jar. All right, so we've got like a bucket of fresh fruits, Granny's Cozy Casserole dish. And yeah, these definitely all seem like they can go really well together. Even the colors are very different on each of the kitchens I can see the accessories being um, used in any kitchen in any color okay these shelves are super cute they have fun little details painted on them some of the accessories do go on the shelf okay so these are all the new accessories that come with the country kitchen kits I can actually really see using this kitchen I wasn't so sure when I first bought it because I'm not super into country style um, but I can actually see a lot of this being very versatile you can definitely mix it with like more modern upper cabinets I can definitely see using these in bathrooms as well. I think they actually did a really, really, really nice job with this country kitchen pack. So again, if you're kind of like me or where you're more modern style and you don't really know how this one's going to go for you, I actually kind of recommend it. Even if you like modern style, I think that there's enough pieces in here that you can kind of mix and match um, into a more modern kitchen as well. Last but not least, we are going to check out the five new items from the Bust the Dust kit. It looks like there are five new vacuum cleaners. There are two handhelds, huge difference in price. One is $190, the other is $660. And then the next three vacuum cleaners are all the kind that you push on the floor. So it looks like we have three of those also ranging in price, $180, $340, and $950. Jeez. If you ever split from your spouse, make sure you get this vacuum. Alrighty then, so let's take a look at our new vacuum cleaners here. We have the Dandy Dust Cordless Vacuum by Suck Up Industries. And then we have the Debonair Dust Portal by Gruntled Inc. And we have our three corded vacuum. If you ever dreamed of having a pink vacuum, you can have it here in The Sims. Okay, and then our last one, $950. Now this pack seemed way more about the gameplay. So it came with five items, but it's all about how things are gonna get kind of messy in the house. So I'm excited to see that. So let's bring our family in the house and see what's going on. I'm gonna have the mom check out some of the vacuums. Oh, so you can select your favorite handheld vacuum cleaner. Okay, so these can also be upgraded. You can install a bottomless pit, self-charging power cell, titanium rotors, and a vaporizing pulse. Hmm. Let's get it a little bit messy in here. What's something that they can do that's really messy? Okay, so even our little kiddo can vacuum around as well. They can also choose their favorite vacuum cleaner because, you know, every kid has a favorite vacuum cleaner. Looks like our kiddos can use the handheld vacuum cleaner, but not the push one. We have our little kiddo vacuum around. Mom will be so proud. I love the sound effects here too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you can check dust level on the floor or vacuum to perfection. 
Let's have him check our dust level. The floor level is clean. The sparkling surroundings fill Sims with focus, inspiration, and energy. Keep up the good work or else your home will become dusty. Okay, so the mom has a new inspired mood lit. Sparkling clean surroundings from being in a clean area. You can also handheld vacuum the countertops as well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, our little kid is getting messy back here. Oh man, is she gonna freak out? Please be nice to this child. Okay, and then our little kiddo has a new focused buff, no dust left behind from vacuuming thoroughly. Could you imagine if a little kid actually felt that way from vacuuming? The dad's like, oh God, why are you vacuuming countertops? So I wonder what would happen to the dad if he vacuumed because he likes things really dirty. Everyone's vacuuming. Okay, so he is also inspired by sparkling clean surroundings, but he is a messy sim, so let's see. Okay, so he also has no dust left behind. He also has a focus buff perfectionist zeal from cleaning or vacuuming a floor already clean. So Roderick's a slob, but he's also getting positive moodlets from cleaning. So that's pretty interesting. I thought for some reason he'd be like, oh, I'm vacuuming. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to get the house really messy because I really wanna meet some dust bunnies. So it's later in the same day and we have our first dust bunny. Oh my God. <gasps> It is so cute. <gasps> you can name your dust bunny. You can feed it. You can ask your dust bunny to search for valuables, step on, pet, or befriend. Oh my God. Okay, so it looks like adults and kids can interact with the dust bunny. Dust bunny, so friendly, so cute, but also so dusty. They may help find a new simoleon under the couch, but at the cost of your clean home. Oh, and they have a happiness level. Right now it's neutral. So the mom is uncomfortable at filthy surroundings from a bad environment. It's like having a little pet. Oh my gosh. It's little tail. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna have the mom befriend the dust bunny. For some reason that's happening quicker than it is for the kiddo. Serenity befriended a dust bunny. Since she made her fluffy companion feel so welcomed and cared for in her house, this dust bunny will behave a bit differently. It can now survive in even the cleanest environments and will no longer be destroyed by cleaning around the house. It's here to stay. Befriended dust bunnies will also show their appreciation by finding rarer items and occasionally even digging up substantial piles of simoleons. Okay, so these are actually good to have around, it seems like. <gasps> Interesting. Okay, I wonder what else she can do. Oh, she even has a happy moodlet. Bunny friends forever from befriending a dust bunny. This is so interesting to me. So she has the neat trait and then she also has the perfectly pristine aspiration. So she should really be liking things being very clean and I thought it would really freak her out that things were very messy, but she has a happy moodlet here from being in a dusty area. What happens if she steps on her friend? <gasps> Where did he go? <gasps> oh no. Okay, I'm really sad and so is my Sim. She has a sad mood lit from dust friends to dust from destroying a cute helpless dust bunny. <laughs> I'm a monster. Why did I click that? I don't like this at all. I need more dust bunnies back in my life. I'm gonna have her cry it out. She's really sad about killing her little dust bunny. And so am I. I'm really surprised that having the neat trait and having the new clean aspiration, she was like happy about having a dust bunny friend and now she's sad that she destroyed it. So I don't know, I, it's it's interesting. I thought that these traits would play out a little bit differently. The floor level is dusty. It feels lived in and homey and Sims will build relationships faster and enjoy cleaning more. If Sims make no effort to clean up a little though, this floor will become dirty. You can actually see it's dusty in some areas, especially it looks just like a little gray and dingy. So this is just the dusty level. I'm excited to see what dirty looks like. Stop cleaning. Oh, we have another dust bunny. We have another dust bunny, people. This is not a drill. You need to feed him and actually be friends with him to make up for the last one that you murdered. Reed's dust friend did not feel particularly motivated or happy, but did manage to half-heartedly raise up a few simoleons. A hundred simoleons have been added to the household. Perhaps a little bribery in the form of dust snacks might encourage the dusty friend to search a bit more industriously. This dust bunny has brought home more money than the parents have so far. This dust bunny was so happy with Serenity that it managed to find lost simoleons all over the house. 625 simoleons have been added to the household. My Sims are gonna be living in filth forever. These things are so valuable. Oh my God. Okay, so she's gonna befriend Cashmere, our new dust bunny. And this time no one's going to step on him. 
I want more dust bunnies. Oh, I'm very curious to find out if we get more dust bunnies, the dirtier it gets, and if we can have a little dust bunny family. <laughs> that sounds disgusting in real life, but in terms of The Sims, it's really fun. <gasps> okay, the floor just looks a lot dirtier. Oh, and we have a third dust bunny, yes. Hey, stop cleaning. Stop it. Our floor level is dirty. Sims may start having some social troubles and some interactions may take longer to do while your Sims are distracted by the mess. If no measures are taken, the floor will become filthy. Okay, okay. We have multiple levels of filth here and I am living for this. Something is just really fun about this. I think it's the dust bunnies, but I don't know. I think what it is is knowing that Okay, right now I'm playing with dust and filth and I want it to get disgusting for the sake of just trying this out for the first time. But I think in real gameplay going forward, I really enjoy having to do laundry and having to do some of those chores that feel super overwhelming in real life. So I actually kind of love that The Sims has made this more realistic um, in terms of gameplay and I am here for it. It is officially filthy. The floor level is filthy. Sims will be very uncomfortable, especially with filth fiends invading their space. The good news is there's nowhere to go but up, but only if you clean up. Okay, so we have hit the max level of dirtiness. <gasps> Wait, some of our dust bunnies disappeared. So far though, these dust bunnies have been great. And that's why I'm really sad to see them go because they've just been finding money. So you can ask them to search for things, but they also just autonomously do it. So I was just randomly seeing like 90 bucks here, 100 bucks there. So if you can deal with all of the negative consequences of living in a filthy place, you can actually make quite a bit of money. At this point, everybody has really uncomfortable moodlets from being in a filthy area. Okay, I think we have our first filth fiend. It looks just like the dust bunny, but it's not. It looks like a little evil. Filth fiend. Uh-oh, you know you haven't done chores in a while when these critters appear. They're lean, they're mean, and unclean. I'm gonna try to pet it. Okay, so she got a bit spooked. Now she won't go near it. Man, I really want the dust bunnies and the filth fiends to just like duke it out here. Beg for mercy. Oh my gosh. Try to pet. Okay, I'm gonna have the kid ask it to rummage for clutter. Okay, so these filth fiends are way less fun because you can't really play with them very much, but... You can ask them to rummage for things. It just kind of sounds like they don't want to. <gasps> you can get a scared moodlet from the filth fiends. Reconsidered approaching the filth fiend, but reconsidered after getting closer and receiving a menacing glare. Some creatures are best observed from afar. Oh my gosh, so much is happening. Oh my God, what is happening? She's on fire. All right, everybody, I'm gonna call it here. I really enjoyed playing with these kits and I think that the Sims team has done a great job of putting out three really well-rounded kits and I can see how all of these are gonna fit into my day-to-day -day gameplay. Let me know in the comments if you're considering getting one of the kit packs and if so, which one looks the most fun to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.